This is kind of an unusual question. I mean, really, if you think about it, if you're in an interview, they've already thought you at least have some qualifications for the job. I mean, they wouldn't be interviewing you otherwise. This is kind of the flip side of the question of, uh, you know, tell me about your strengths or tell me why you think you are a good fit for this position or why do you think you're qualified for the job? They just turn it into a negative. And the reason for that is to try to maybe get you off your game a little bit and, and get you to talk about and, and doubt yourself and say, well, I'm not sure if I am qualified for the job or maybe there's an aspect of the job or the job description that you might not be as strong on. And they want you to really expand on that and either overcome that or kind of knock yourself out a little bit too, which would be unfortunate. So with this question, uh, why do you think you're not, or I, might, I don't think you're qualified for the job, uh, you really are kind of turning around and thinking about, you know, finding out what is it the interviewer specifically has a doubt on. So you want to ask that first. They may or not, may not tell you. They might not even know. It might be just a question they ask everybody. But if there is something that's specific as far as why they might wonder about you, they'll tell you. And then you can really answer that question more specifically. So if you just jump in there and just say, I don't know. I think I'm qualified. Look at the job description. I'm qualified. You still might not be answering what their concern is. So ask first if you see what their concern is. Here's an example of what that might look like. Oh, that's interesting. Could you tell me a little bit more specifically what your concern might be or what you're wondering about with me and my qualifications to the job? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I could see where teamwork would be very, very important in this position. I could, even if it's not in the job description, I can understand it being very important. And I'm glad you brought it up because I'd like to talk to you about that. Because in my current position, in my background, my experience, I've worked with a lot of different teams at different levels of an organization, cross-functional teams, like in sales and accounting and project management and a variety of levels. So I actually have a great deal of experience when it comes with working with diverse teams in different departments and different, le different levels of an organization. And not only being a great team, Teammate, but many times I'm in a leadership role around those teams as well. And you have to really balance that, especially when you're not their direct boss, but you still are performing in a leadership role. So either way, whether I'm leading a team or just being a part of a diverse team, I have a great deal of experience uh, around teams. And, and that's how I can really add even more to this position and add some of those team and communication skills to the position. Okay, so you saw in the example where I paused for a second, kind of said, oh, you really think that way, and got more specific, and they said, well, I'm concerned about the teamwork, and I could really answer the teamwork question, as opposed to just blurting out something like, oh, I could see that maybe I, my college or university I went to might not be as good a college or university as you're looking for. And you're talking about this whole thing about university and college, and it doesn't even care, it cares about teamwork. So uh, think about first asking the question, uh, what is it you're, that you're concerned, and then address it, and address it towards how your experience can then transfer into the new position.